Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to do a simple VHS effect transition. Getting started, we have a video clip here in our timeline. First thing we're gonna do is take an adjustment layer and put it on top of that video clip. Extend that adjustment layer out. If you don't already have an adjustment layer, always remember you can just right click in this box, go to new item, adjustment layer, all of the settings will match whatever clip you have in the timeline, so always be mindful of that. Click OK to add that. We're not going to, we already have one. Once you have your adjustment layer on top of the video clip, go up to your effects, type in emboss. Make sure your adjustment layer is highlighted. Double click on emboss. That will add the effect to the adjustment layer. So we will obviously need to take this down a little bit. So we'll go over here to blend. Right here under emboss where it says blend, let's change that to 60%. That looks about right for me. Let's go up to Relief. We're gonna change that to four. And then let's take our contrast up. Now that we've acquired that retro look, go back up to our effects, type in Noise. With that adjustment layer still selected, double click on Noise to add that. Let's scroll down to Noise in our effects panel. We're gonna change the amount to 10%. From here, we'll go over to our Lumetri color panel. Let's go to RGB Curves. For this, let's try the blue and also the red. In your Lumetri color panel, navigate to basic correction. Let's adjust that exposure a little bit and let's adjust the shadows. Now that we've achieved a very retro look here on the video. So now that we've achieved a very retro look here on the video, let's go back to our effects panel, type in directional blur. Again, with your adjustment layer selected, double click on that directional blur to add it to the adjustment layer. Navigate back over to Effect Controls. Here under Blur Link, let's take that up to four. Once you have the directional blur on the adjustment layer, navigate back to your Effects Control Panel, take Blur Length, change it to four, at which point we're going to take the adjustment layer up to Video Track 3, go back into our Project Window, grab our Scan Line, let's click on that, Go to opacity and we'll take that down to 10 percent if you don't already have the scan line jpeg you can get one from adobe stock to where i got this one the final touch to this video would be to add some text up here in the corner once you've got your text up in the corner put your text under your adjustment layer so that it has the same effect as the rest of the video at this point you will want to render out the video sequence so that it will play back correctly so go ahead and render that into out. Once you've rendered out your timeline, it should look something like this. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for future Premiere Pro tutorials.